So now let's go over to VMware Workstation and I'll show you how to access virtual machines using RDP. The first thing we want to do inside VMware Workstation with a virtual machine that we want to access using RDP is of course to enable RDP in the Windows operating system. To do that I've got this Windows server. I'm going to click on the console and then go full screen with Control Alt Enter then here inside Server Manager where it says Remote Desktop, I'll click on Disabled so that we can go into the system properties here and allow remote connections to this computer, effectively enabling Remote Desktop. I'll click on Windows Firewall here with Advanced Security because we'll either need to disable the firewall, which of course isn't recommended, or to open an exception or open a port, and then to create an exception or open a port for RDP. To open a port for RDP, if we go up here to the inbound rules and then scroll down, we'll find remote desktop user mode down here. I'll double click on that. And then we'll just need to check the checkbox here to enable the rule. I'll say OK. And we can see now the remote desktop TCP in firewall exception is enabled. You see yes right here under the enabled column. So we just enabled RDP to come in through the firewall. I'll say OK. And then I'll say OK here on the system properties. And we've enabled RDP to be allowed in to this virtual machine. The next thing we need to find out is exactly how to connect to this virtual machine remotely. So let's go down to the network connection. I'll just right click and open the network and sharing center. I'll double click on the Ethernet adapter go into details and here we see that this virtual machine has an IP address 10.0.1.115 that it received via DHCP. Just from looking at the IP configuration I could tell that this virtual machine is in bridged mode. That means it's connected directly to the physical network interface on the host computer. That's why it received an IP address that's on my local LAN. We'll test the RDP connection first with the virtual machine in this bridge mode and then we'll go back and we'll change the virtual machine to NAT mode which is actually the default. Configure NAT to allow RDP in and then we'll retest. So let's go ahead and close this out. I'll get out of the virtual machine and then let's go and let's run remote desktop. I'll type in the IP address 10.0.1.115. I have not tried this before, so we'll just see if it works. I'll go ahead and log in as myself. I'll accept the certificate, say yes. And there we go. We successfully connected to the virtual machine using RDP. I can go in here and verify. Yes, indeed, it is 10.0.115. It's the same IP address. It's the same operating system. It's the same virtual machine that's running over in Workstation. So let's exit the RDP connection here. And you can see back on the virtual machine's console, it automatically logged out the console user. You have to log back in here. I'll log in as David and we're back in. So if we look at this virtual machine's configuration, we go down to settings and on the network adapter, indeed it is in bridged mode. So it's connected directly to the physical network. So now let's change this to NAT mode. This is going to really put the virtual machine behind a virtual NAT device. In other words, it's going to be on its own network it's going to get a different IP address, still via DHCP, but assigned by VMware Workstation. Typically, if I want to connect to my virtual machines remotely, I prefer the bridge mode just because it makes life simpler. The virtual machine is on the same network as everything else, and I don't have to worry about NAT. So if your virtual machine is configured as NAT and you want to use RDP, you can follow the instructions I'm about to show you, or it may just be easier to configure it as a bridged virtual machine. I'll say OK here, 
and then to allow the RDP to come in we're going to have to configure net but first let's see what IP address this virtual machine receives notice how it got disconnected from the network because it's not on the same network anymore as the host computer it's behind a NAT device so I'm going to right click here and say open network and sharing I'll go back into the Ethernet device and notice now it has an IP address on the 192.168 network and it is .65.130 I'm just going to have to write that down 192.168.65.130 so let's remember that because we're going to have to use that when we configure NAT so if we tried to connect to that 192.168 IP address from the host network which is the 10 network in my case it's not going to work there's no way for that traffic to route through the network and get to this virtual machine. What we need to do instead is go to our virtual network editor, which is here under edit, virtual network editor. And then we're going to have to go into the NAT network, which is VMNet 8, then go down here to the NAT settings. We'll first take a look at this. Here's the subnet. This is where the IP address came from that was assigned to the virtual machine. If we go into DHCP here, we can see the range. So we receive the very first IP address in the range. What we want to do is to tell VMware Workstation, which is on the host IP address or on the host network, that when a connection comes in on a particular port and it's RDP, it needs to go to this particular virtual machine that's over on the NAT network. So I'll go into the NAT settings here. And then what I'm going to do is to add and I'm going to set a port on the host. Now if I use 3389, that's going to prevent me from connecting to the host remotely using RDP. Of course, 3389 is the TCP port that RDP uses. In this case, let's configure 3390. So we're going to increment by one, and here I need to enter the virtual machine's IP address, which is what we wrote down, 192.168.65.130. And then the virtual machine port, which is going to be 3389. So for description, I'll put in NAT for RDP. I'll say OK here. We've got this configured. I'll say OK. And I'll say OK again. OK, now if we use our remote desktop client, we're not going to connect to that 192.168 IP address. We need to connect to the IP address of the host computer colon 3390 because that's going to then be translated with NAT into the 192.168.65.130 colon 3389 which is going to be the port for RDP on the guest operating system or this Windows Server 2012 that we're running as a virtual machine. So here on the host operating system I'm going to right click on the network go to network and sharing I'll go to the Ethernet adapter I'll go to details and the host IP address, let's write this down, is 10.0.1.110. And then we're going to connect to 3390. So if we close that out, then open up remote desktop, we'll connect to 10.0.1.110 colon 3390. That's going to be translated into the 192.168 IP and the port number 3389 for RDP. So let's give it a shot. It's encouraging that we get a username and password prompt. I have not tried this before my first time. Notice we're connected at the top to 10.0.1.110 but inside here if I go down to the virtual machine and I right click on network and sharing, Ethernet, details, Look at the IP we're connected to, 192.168.65.130, even though up here it says we're connected to 10.0.1.110. That's all thanks to NAT, thanks to VMware Workstation's Network Address Translator, which is translating the 10 net to the 192 and the 3390 to the 3389. So that's how you connect to a virtual machine with RDP when it's on the VMware Workstation NAT network. And that ends my demonstration on connecting a virtual machine via RDP.